Alina Persia. Alina Persia was an 18-year-old Romanian teen who successfully sold her virginity for $14,900 to pay for a computing degree. She completed the sell with the web auction that ran for two weeks in 2009. The winner was a 45-year-old Italian businessman who flew her to Venice to wine, dine, and show her the sights before taking her V-card at a nearby five-star hotel. Alina was also required to undergo two separate medical examinations to prove she was a virgin. Still, Alina suffered no seller's remorse and told an interviewer that she enjoyed the experience so much she be willing to do it again for free. I wonder if he took her up on that offer. She didn't ask if he was married or had a family because that kind of information totally spoils the mood when you're giving it up to a paying stranger who's 27 years older than you are. Then again, who needs romance when you have $14,900? Number 9. Chat Tuniha. In 2013, an 18-year-old Siberian teenager used the Russian auction site 24.au to auction off her, um, innocence to the highest bidder. Posting under the nickname Shatuni Ha, she wrote, I have no bad habits and I am nice looking, and described herself as new, not used. She also described her virginity as the most precious thing I own. But hey, she could own something more precious if she had some money, so let's begin the auction. Her efforts attracted the attention of a high-rolling mystery bidder who parted with 900,000 rubles or roughly $2,800 to consummate the deal in a mystery hotel room. The police were notified, but they didn't interrupt because they weren't breaking any laws, which makes you wonder why they notified the police to begin with. I guess he just wanted to show off. Number 8. Elizabeth Rain. Elizabeth Rain is a medical student who attracted plenty of attention with her 2014 website which she built to facilitate the sale of her virginity. The remarkably professional auction website featured links to the PR company managing the bids and contained an entire page devoted to terms and conditions. With legal clauses like sexual intercourse means the insertion of a penis into a vagina, or in layman's terms, no anal. She also promised to donate 35% of the sale to a charity providing education to women in developing countries. The website's gallery of polished photographs attracted an absurd winning bid of $801,000 from an anonymous bidder. Rain claimed to be motivated by financial gain but admitted she was also drawn to the scandal adventure on eroticism and hoped to challenge preconceptions about virginity. She later backed out of the arrangement to instead focus on her medical training prompting some critics to claim that she never intended to follow through with the transaction in the first place. Number 7. Raffaella Fico Italian Big Brother star Raffaella Fico is no stranger to controversy. She's been linked to the former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Bersaloni's Bunga Bunga sex parties and has recently made headlines for having an extramarital baby with soccer superstar Mario Balotelli. More interesting, though, is that when she was 20, she reportedly put her virginity up for herself, telling an Italian magazine that she'd gladly part with it for a million euros so that she could fund acting classes and buy a house. She swore she'd never had a boyfriend, and I almost believe her, and she said she'd go through with the transaction even even if the winning bid came from some gross, fat, hairy guy. If I don't like him, I'll just have a glass of wine and forget about it. Truly one of the greatest philosophical minds of our era. Number 6. Rebecca Bernardo in 2013, Brazilian teen Rebecca Bernardo took to YouTube to announce she was auctioning her virginity to pay for a bedridden mother's medical bills. Her mother had suffered a stroke, and Rebecca, who has no other family, allegedly needed more money than she could get working normal 18-year-old gigs like flipping burgers. There comes a time when you have to make decisions to get what you want. You have to be strong! She said in a video like she was going to war. Her campaign caused a media storm, and Rebecca bizarrely turned down one Brazilian TV network's condition-free offer to pay for the medical bills. Reports vary but some suggest Rebecca eventually sold her virginity for $35,000 in a private sale. Just in case any of you are getting any wild ideas, let me remind you that YouTube's for Let's Plays, Cat Videos, Internet Arguments, and Danger Dolan Countdowns, not selling your virginity. Number 5. Gracie Laya Taco Peruvian model Gracie Laya Taco is credited with starting the whole auctioning one's virginity trend in 2005. At 18, she was responsible for her mother's medical bills and paying for her younger brother's tuition. Since her family was poverty-stricken, she posted an ad in her local newspaper requesting 20,000 souls for the right to deflower her. Because Peru is strongly Catholic, there was a huge outcry from public figures. A Canadian man offered $1.5 million, but she declined before eventually retracting her offer. She was accused of conducting a publicity stunt but insists her offer was serious and that she only retracted it because that annoying bird's self-respect kept chirping in her ear. Number 4. Uni Girl 
A New Zealand student known only as Uni Girl caught the world's attention in 2010 when she sold her virginity for a whopping $45,000 NZ. The sale was done on an auction site called I Need and was apparently to pay for a university education. Wait till New Zealand discovers scholarships. It'll be revolutionary. No more taking it up the butt. I know students have to cram a lot to get through exams, but this is taking it a bit too far. Over 1,200 creepy perverts placed bids. At the end of the auction, the student thanked everyone who took an interest and said the amount she received was beyond what I could have dreamed. She's a regular fairy tale princess. Number three, Rosie Reed. In 2004, 18 year old Rosie Reed from London sold her virginity to a divorced 44 year old engineer for $13,300. Rosie reportedly wanted the money to attend Bristol University, but I'm sure she probably bought herself some new shoes as well. Her ad attracted over 2,000 bids. This was Rosie's first sexual experience with a man, however, she had prior experiences with her lesbian partner, Jess Cameron. Reportedly, Jess waited outside of the door while Rosie consummated her sale. The next morning, the lesbian lovers cried and cried. Oh, Oh no, the oppressive penis. <laughs> there you go, guys and gals. Think long and hard before selling something like this because you can't get a refund. Though, frankly, I think this guy should have got one. I mean, she had sex with her lesbian partner. That doesn't technically make her a virgin. But hey, you know what? It's his money. I'm sure he had a blast, so good for him. Number two, Katarina Milarini. In October 2012, 20-year-old Brazilian physical education student Katarina Milarini attempted to sell her virginity as part of an Australian documentary called Virgins Wanted. The successful buyer was a Japanese man who offered an exorbitant $7,800,000 for a date followed by a pleasurable evening of Hide the Sausage. But the filmmaker ran into legal issues, so it was decided that the actual deflowering would take place over international waters, where you can have all the dirtiest, filthiest sex you want. The fish won't judge you. Unfortunately, the documentary fell through with Katarina claiming the filmmaker tried to bait switch and defraud her. Not to worry, Katarina starred Risen in the meantime and she appeared in a 2013 issue of Brazilian Playboy. She organized a second auction for herself, but it also fell through. She's currently in talks to be in a Brazilian reality show where 20 men will compete for a million dollars in the honor of taking her virginity. Seriously, I'd just take the million dollars, then give away the voucher to somebody probably would have a hard time getting laid anyways. Then a virgin fucks a virgin and everybody's happy, levels out the universe a little bit. When questioned, Katarina said she's not a prostitute, she's only doing this to, um, raise money to build homes for poverty-stricken families in her own town. Eh? You believe that? She also offered this pearl of wisdom. If you only do it once in your life, then you're not a prostitute. Just like how taking one amazing photograph does not automatically make you a photographer, or killing one person makes you a murderer. Okay, I made up that last one, but the logic follows. Number one, Natalie Dillon. Where were you in September 2008? Were you announcing the auction of your virginity on the Howard Stern Show? 22-year-old Natalie Dillon was. Natalie held her virginity auction on the Moonlight Bunny Ranch website and was planning to consummate it at the ranch. Natalie was a recent women's studies graduate from Sacramento State and claimed she was planning to use the money to finance graduate school. She said she was being pro-choice with her body and that she felt empowered. Several bids exceeded a million dollars and the highest one came in at $3.8 million. What the fuck's wrong with these people? No fucking wonder she felt empowered. They weren't fucking her. She was fucking them out of $3.8 million. Natalie fucked them real good. She got $250,000 from an Australian high roller who placed a deposit before backing out to reconcile with his ex-wife. So she got a quarter of a million dollars and didn't even have to get fucked. That's empowerment right there. I don't even feel bad for the rich guy. He placed a deposit on somebody's virginity. Not only is that creepy as fuck, but it's fucking stupid. Natalie's the most successful hooker of all time. She got the money, she didn't get fucked, and now she's out of the game. She's fine. She's got her virginity. Everything's good for Natty. And the guy she fucked out of his money got his ex-wife back, so everybody's happy. Everything worked out for everyone. Natalie Dillon is a true American hero. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.